Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Max's Gym Challenge episode number 26 I believe. Let me just check that now. Uh, this is Max's second attempt against, yep, yeah, 26 and I believe uh, second attempt against the fire types. Yep, second attempt against the fire types. Uh, last time it didn't go too well for him as um, he got swept by the Volcarona. Let's see what happens this time. So I'm going to lead off my Volcarona again because it led out, it went really well last time. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'm going to go with Giga Drain this time just to get rid of most of um, the Golem's health. Sturdy's going to activate, which is just brilliant. <laughs> Rock Slide, okay, that's going to do quite a bit of my damage, quite a bit of my health. Looking back, I probably should have used a not very effective move, then just used Giga Drain there to get some health back. Uh, so I just use Giga Drain there, and I get a whopping one health back. Yeah, man. Yeah, fight me now, I've got two HP. Mm -mm. Next Pokemon out is Aegislash, and um, at, this, at this point I know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to go straight for Shadow Sneak just to finish off my Volcarona, making the battle a bit harder on my end. Brilliant. Okay. And because this is my luck, I don't get the burn. Because life hates me. I go my Nine Tails next, which has Drought, so automatic sunny day and boost power fire type moves. So, uh, Aegislash gets withdrawn. Wise choice. And out comes Greninja, which is just, okay, flamethrower. That's obviously not very effective because it's a water type, so yeah, I'm surprised it did that much damage, honestly. And he goes with Scold, which is alright, the, the power of the move is weakened by the sunny day, but okay, yeah, I'll live with that. And because it can burn, but it doesn't burn fire types because fire types can't get burned. I just go with Solar Beam, which is now one turn move because of the sunny day, boosting the power of Grass Light moves as well. So Greninja goes down. Next Pokemon out is Haxorus. And I'm going to go Dark Pulse to hope to flinch it. But unfortunately, no. And he goes straight with the Z move, which is a Dragon type Z move. And if I remember correctly, this is Z Dragon Dance. Yep. So that does nothing apart from just raise the attack and speed by one. And that's it. So not a good move on his part, and he instantly regressed it afterwards. But however, he does that speed, and Rock Slide would take down the Nine Tails. I go with my Incineroar next, just to intimidate the um, Haxorus and lower its attack. Yay! <laughs> I go with Fake Out, just to do some damage. And flinch it. And then um, I get hit by Rock Slide, which is going to do a decent amount of damage. And luckily I don't get flinched. I go with Darkest Lariat. And that's going to finish off the Haxorus. Yep, critical hit. I'm going to assume that crit mattered. And next out is Aegislash. He goes straight with King Shield because he knows my Incineroar is a physical attacker. So he's just going to lower my attack. Because of course he will. But don't worry, I'm not scared. <laughs> I go straight with Flare Blitz, whilst um, being boosted by the sun um, does a ton of damage, so by Aegis Slash. There was a brave move on Max's part to send out the Aegis Slash against the Fire type during the sun, but I see what he was going for, unfortunately it didn't work for him. 
Next us is Charizard, which he mega evolves to the Y form, just to get the sunny day back up, I assume, and also because I don't have a good, don't have many moves that are good against it. And uh, he's going to go straight with Air Slash, which is going to finish off my Incineroar. Next us is Rapidash. Because who doesn't love a fire horse? He withdraws into Nidoking, which um, I'm afraid I didn't see coming, and I went straight for a wild charge, which would do nothing on Nidoking. I instead go with Flare Blitz, using the power of the sun, which Max left over for me, and that does all of Nidoking's health. Um, Max is actually rather upset about that, but I'm don't care, he left the sun out for him, but and I use it to my own advantage. If, I, if anything, that was a good play on my part. He goes to Dragon Pulse out speeding, which is going to do uh, quite a bit of all of my, the rest of my health, actually. So, yep, of course, <laughs> the Flare Blitz helped on his end then. I go out my Charizard now. Just have a good old Charizard versus Charizard duel. Both Mega Y form, so he outspeeds, go Dragon Pulse, which is going to do a fair amount of health. I'm going to go Blast Burn. True, it's not very effective, but it's the most powerful fire type move, stab and boosted by the power of the sun. And the critical hit probably did matter, but that finished off the Charizard. So sometimes, even though a move, that pretty much goes to show, even though a move may not be very effective, don't diss it, don't, don't just assume it's not going to do much, because if the right weather's up, let's say for, uh, yeah, let's say a fire type move, let's say for a fire type move, for example, if sunny day is up, and you've got a fire type move which isn't very effective against, let's say, the Greninja, don't just assume that it's not going to do much. The reason why the Ninetales Flamethrower didn't do much against the Greninja is because Ninetales Special Attack isn't that impressive. If anything, Ninetales is just there for the sunny day. Um, so yeah, it's best to really understand the effects that the weather has in battle. But other than that, that was a good second attempt for Max. True, he didn't win. But it got me down to my last two Pokemon, and um, I rather had a lot of fun with this battle as well. Uh, so yeah, that's all for this time. Join me in the next video, which will be Max's third attempt against Fire-types, and battle number 27 for him. Till then, peace out.